taunting with Varian, tank and spank. Since the name of the game is going to be crowd control, I like I typically like to pick Lion's Maw. Um, but also, I want to take a look at the enemies and see who's melee and who's not. Uh, if there are a lot of melee guys, I might pick Overpower because I parry a lot more in my heroic strike cooldown be uh, going down faster. High King's Quest is mainly for DPS, but again, I like Lion's Maw because um, after 25 heroes hit, the slow is increased by 50% and duration increased to 2 seconds. That's big. Here's my Fancy Pants variant on his Fancy Pants man mount. Check it out. Alright, got that in a loot chest. So as usual, we like to go down the mid, and I'm just going to try to slow and as many people as possible get my Lion's Maw quest done. Um, so I get that extra slow in duration. A lot of clicking. I like clicking. I'm going to help out my buddy up there. Cop ass, get off him and slow them. Just keep spamming that slow whenever I know I can hit someone and then parry whenever people get close. I got the lovely lightning shield, which is super useful as Varian. But at this point, it looks like we're not really going to get a kill or anything, and we already have someone up top, so I want to try to slow Kerrigan. Um, they hurt my tower. I don't like it, but I want to keep collecting these orbs and do what I can up here. Scare her away. All right, so keep clicking and moving, and I definitely want to um, move, make a lot of lateral movements against Kerrigan because of her, her little double attack thing parry as much as I can and it looks like she's not moving to, away from me she's not very scared which is fine because then I'll just get my lion's maw quest done I'll keep parrying I'm hitting her <clears throat> and then tank these guys while my towers take them out I thought that guy wanted to take out these uh this camp he doesn't so I'm gonna go back and mess with Kerrigan and collect my blue orbs I miss one darn it here we are, hit her up a little bit, scare her away, and get the blue. Get them blue balls. <laughs> Slow her down again. Oh, it looks like they really try us up top. Four people, three or four people coming up top, but it's fine. We just back up a little bit, drink a little something, something, and hold them off. This is fine. I like it because they're not going to get anywhere while we soak, hopefully, in the other lanes. And the more people, the more chances I get to hit more heroes or multiple heroes with my Lion's Maw. All right, we scared him off. Now for level four, I go with taunt. Taunt because I'm taunting and tanking and spanking them. It forces them to hit me and silences them for 1.25 seconds. And I get more health and health regeneration. Colossus smash is great if you're trying to burst and DPS people down. Twin Blades of Fury, um, I don't see many people use that. I haven't used that too much myself. Uh, and wow, I like dual wielding because it looks cool. But in HOTS, I'm digging the tank and spank. So here we are, still looking around the map and seeing if I can, now that I have my taunt, um, it's a great opportunity when possible to really um, burst some heroes down. So I tried there, it wasn't smart going against their tank, but I love taunt. It's such an early talent that can get people off your casters or really um, get your guys in for the kill. When you taunt someone, they're silence, and then all your guys burst them down. It's, it's lovely. It's a level four talent too. It's just, it's incredible. So here I am getting more stacks of my quest against this Kerrigan. And going at it. Alright, so getting my line fang stacks up against Kerrigan whenever I get the chance and keeping my eye on the map to see when we could potentially taunt and gank anyone. There, I just did a taunt. I don't know why. I just put the cooldown was up. I wanted to use it. Whatever. So I got a little low. I didn't dodge her ability. But I want these orbs right there. I love it. I love it. So now we're going to go to the objective. Now, the first objective on this map typically isn't isn't that great, Ooh, but, you know, my homies are there. I'm going to help them out, um, and there's a taunt right there. Are we going to get her? Boom, there. Look at that taunt. Lovely. Led to a kill right there, and no, no. I'm going to slow them down from getting to my boys. No, I didn't. I scared them. All right, so we're in pretty good control of this place. We got Li Ming taking down towers from a distance. All right, for level 7, I like to go Lionheart. Uh, since I already went all in with the first ability, I want to increase it now. When I hit heroes, it heals me for 75% more, which is great. Uh, second wing, Wind is also a really great ability. Um, and Victory Rush is great if you're going for more of a DPS build. Um, but I'm sticking with Lionheart because I like 
uh, my Lion's Fang ability. We're still fighting over this here objective. Looks like they're going in for us. I'm gonna taunt her again. Are we gonna kill her again? Yes. Oh no! Saved, saved by by the pool. But it's alright. She got no health, and we got her away, and we still are on the objective. That time, my cooldown is gonna be up in a couple seconds. So taunt is so wonderful. Here they are. They're gonna try to mess with us again. Who wants to taunt now? Oh, it looks like Kerrigan wants to taunt, and she's going to die before I could blink. We got it again. The taunt is wonderful. And when I need health, I can actively use my uh, Lionheart ability. I'm, I'm sorry, it's it's Lion's Fang, the, the ability. Um, so I like having the level 7 Lion Heart because I can use Lion Fang to heal in a pinch. Whereas uh, the other abilities um, for Second Wind, uh, you can't do it on command. So I go back to the top lane. I probably should have stuck with my guys and taught more, but I just, I love soaking. If you watch my other videos, you know I just, I'm a pusher. Pusher P. Uh, and Kerrigan's up here. She's going to get me a couple of times, but I'm not concerned. I got my parry. I'm getting more, more and more stacks. And now that the little shooters are going down, it's time for me to bounce. They try a gank on me. Can't catch this. I'm varying. Don't they know? What are they doing? Three, four of them tried me. Ay, ay, ay. You guys, come on now. Kerrigan decides to go somewhere else while I try to defend these towers. It got hit a little bit, um, but I do what I can. Now, Varian isn't so great with the wave clear, and he's definitely not great at soloing um, Merc camps, at least not the tank and spank version of him. Um, not so great at wave clears, but uh, he's amazing in team fights for appealing. Um, you know, when you, when you can, you taunt the enemy either off your DPS or squishy guys, or taunt them so you can burst them down. All right, so for level 10, I love to go shield wall. Parry grants protection, uh, protected, which completely negates all incoming damage. Um, and parry's re cooldown is reduced by five seconds, but it loses one charge. It's amazing to completely block incoming attacks. If you're going TPS, you might want to go Warbringer, because then you could charge more. The, the cooldown and charge is shortened, so you can get in and out, and you can charge to your buddies. But I, for me, I just love staying alive. Ha ha. All right, so here we go. Uh, we get we get a little ballsy here. We're like, can we take this? I mean, the whole team is up. Probably not a great idea, but I, I got my shield, um, my shield wall, so I feel like I can take on the world. We're hitting them up. The guys are trying to slow them down the mid, but they see us here. It's gonna get ugly because Orfea is gonna use her ult that just keeps going when people are in. I have my protection, so we kill her, but I mean, she just keeps chomping. Uh, you know. I can't be invincible for too long. They used too many darn ultimates. They had a turret, and they go and destroy us here pretty badly. It's a rough, rough engagement there, and they got the the healing. But you know what? It's all right because we can bounce back, and that's what you do in life. You bounce back. All right, so three of our guys are enjoying a, a much to break. They got Tracer giving it to Murky. I hate Murky, man. That guy is so slippery. But Tracer is a great counter. Um, and, and you know, we're, we're doing well. We're starting to come back now, and we're gonna bring it to them. Now, uh, ETC in the mid, I decide to go back up top and, and renew my rivalry with Kerrigan if she's still up there. I see that they got four in the mid. No, Kel'Zas stays alive. Um, and, and we're just gonna try to get the level lead again. We're close enough. Um, Looks like they're gonna try to get us up top. Four guys come, but we keep them off. You can't hurt me. I negate the damage. Again, shield wall. Absolutely wonderful. So we got four up there. They, Murky took the uh, Mercs down bottom. But it's all right. The next control point is up here. So all of us are starting to converge. We're gonna see if we can make some magic happen. We got Kalthas. Oh my goodness, we just destroyed that guy. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh my. They get me back far, but you know, I got my, my shield wall and Rhaegar to the rescue. Uh, we're gonna kill her, I believe. She tries to get all fancy with it. Oh no, she gets away. Ah. Alright. So I still got a ton of health because Rhaegar heals me and I got my shield wall. We take down their ETC. Alright, so for level 13, it really depends on what you're doing here. Um, Shattering Throw is great if you're going against anyone that has shields. 
uh, Juggernaut is nice if you're going against people with high health. I'm taking a look at, at who we're going against, and I just try to decide, like normal, to go Moral Strike. When your Heroic Strike hits someone, it reduces enemy healing. If there's no healer on the enemy team, or if they don't have many self-heals, then I won't worry too much about that. But if you could negate 40% of a heal for 4 seconds, it's really huge when there's healers around. Um, if there's a lot of really beefy guys and not much healing going around, I'll go Juggernaut to try to reduce some of their max health. But that's typically how I go uh, for level 13. We're fighting around here, we're still on the control point, and we're doing some work on their fort, which is lovely. We decided to, um, to defend the top and, and all come together right now over me. So here they go, trying to get us, and I'm saving my taunt, trying to get- Oh no, kill us! I'm sorry buddy, I get in now a little late, but we got our robot. It's, it's, it's alright. Um, I still got my shield wall, but there's a lot of them, they're jumping all around us, and I hop in before I get too low. Um, Tracer kills Murky again, and we're gonna push, we're gonna push it real good, I think. Actually, I forget how this one works out, but whatever. At least they didn't get it, looks like Li Ming almost took out Kerrigan up top. We decided to back up a bit. Um, before they break us. You know, we didn't do much there, but it's alright because they didn't get it and we're still alive. Um, why did I charge in there? I guess I just kind of felt in invincible. So, Rhaegar had to use his big heal on me. Thank you, buddy. I got my shield wall. Look at how quickly that shield wall comes. I used my healing from my, my lion's uh, fang. Pretty nice. And, and we're alright. So we got the level lead again, which is great. I heal. None of our dudes died. Um, and they did not get the objective. So overall, I call that a win. And we also managed to push the top. So they're getting the mercs there. I decide I can't do too much against mercs. I'll just continue to soak and get my stacks. I forget if I completed my quest at this point. The next objective is going to be down bottom in a few minutes. So we decide to, uh, I guess, take this box. What happens this time? I forget. They're all up. Looks like they see us. Are they going to try for us again? I think I think we come out on top here. Come on, let's see. Three on two so far. Uh-oh, three on three. I got my shield wall up. I used it. Uh, Lee Ming scares him away with her big beam. We got Kaldas coming to burn them all up. And, and it looks like we're going to be able to get this pretty easily. He sends out the, the burning phoenix and takes out Orfeo. Wonderful. All right, so we get that Anna kill. Good stuff. Come in. Oh, and we get another kill. All right, I'm in there, but I got my shield wall can't hurt me. So for level 16, you got a few nice ones. I typically go Banner Storming because I love the movement speed. You can go Banner of Iron Forge, which is also a great place if you want more armor, or Banner of Dalaran if you want spell power. Again, I think movement benefits everyone, whereas spell power and armor can be a little more situational, so I almost always go movement. It helps with the chase or the escape. We're, we're getting ballsy. We're like, you know what, let's take their bruisers. Three of them are dead, so I guess it's not that ballsy. We got a great push going on here. And we get that. Alright, so now we got a nice little push with these siege robot ship things. Uh, but yeah, doing some good work. Two of them are still dead and just coming back now. Our other guys are doing work in the other lanes. And Orfea still hasn't had enough. Pew, 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 pew. We got the pew, pew going on. Oh no, Kerrigan took out Tracer sticking around hopefully we don't overstay our welcome they get a stun off but it's not a big deal we slow them and it's like you know what maybe it's time to back down but i do love to look at those siege guys we gotta watch our backs people are probably trying to get us from uh our blind spot there it is kerrigan there you are but we're able to not take her out oh there, there, burner there, come on i dropped my banner so that hopefully no nope, he couldn't get away she's so slippery but i avenge his death we have leaving here now. See if we could try to trick anyone. Nah, not looking good. So let's just back it up, back it up, and soak. Push some more. Tracer still uh, gonna come back now. Murky's eggs or one of his fake eggs is around here, but we're like, screw it, whatever. We're gonna go for this. A little risky because they see us, but you know what? I got shield wall. I'm gonna run. We're going in. Oh gosh, he uses her ultimate. This is, I don't, I don't, against better judgment, I stay in. What happens? I got my shield wall again. Oh, I run. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Li Ming with the laser scared him away. ETC wastes his ultimate. That's cool. And you know what? They get it. We live to fight another day. 
oh yeah, there's an objective. How about that down the bottom? So we got two our guys there. I am very low on health, but I'm hoping Rhaegar will be able to hook me up. And I'm just gonna use my Lion's Fang. And oh, no need, because he just gave me a full heal. Boom, we're in, I taunted. Did we get the kill? Oh, yes, we got the kill. Murky dead, Orfea dead, and we're, oh, ETC dead. We got the band in the middle of this objective for speed. Kerrigan tries us, but we get away because of the speed and the conveyor belts. Oh no, oh no, we don't get away. Go, go, go. She's, she's a slippery one. You never know because she can just turn around and gain a ton of health and shields and be back on you. But we wrecked them. We took them all out. So, good job, us. Good job. Still alive. I don't care because they're all dead. I have low health. It's not a big deal. Uh, we're just going to push and break some more stuff. I go over to Rhaegar, I'm like, hey, how's it going? He's like, hey, here's a heal, thank you very much. All right, so for level 20, I'd love to go Vigilance. Being hit by a hero basic attack reduces the cooldown of taunt. I'm all about the taunt, so the more I can do it, uh, I like that. Um, Glory to the Alliance is great too. The banner now also increases health regen and healing for all heroes by 50% and cooldowns reduced by 50%. Um, but again, I like to tank and spank with Vigilance. We got our 20s, we got a two level lead. And they're starting to come back to life now, but it's too bloody late. Too bloody late. And then we can't do much. We take Murky out. His egg is nearby, I believe, so he'll be back soon. But we got the robot. We're bursting down these buildings. And I'm like, you know what? Let me hop in. I probably shouldn't have because I, I can do better taunting outside. But uh, but at this higher level, the robot is a little bit stronger. Um, and he does some work right now. So it's, it's all good. We're the meat shield for our DPS anyway. So we got the... The Phoenix of Oh no, Anduin's ultimate countered the Phoenix of Death from Kalthas. It's all right. So Anduin had to use his ultimate. No big deal. We disable one of the towers and go in and out. I'm constantly dropping my big bomb and the turret and the laser on the ground thing. I don't know the names of these things. That's all right. We break another tower. We still got Li Ming bombing from a distance. They can't get to her. We got Rhaegar with the heels. Oh, Kerrigan comes from behind. But you know what? We're not gonna let you do work this time. We got the shield and we took her out in her ultimate form. Um, and we're still good. We are still good. Morfei used her ultimate and dropped the laser. ETC's just being annoying. But it's alright. We got one down so far. Drop the laser. More bombs. More lasers. Pew 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 pew. And we're going in. Alright, so we're out of it now. We're still good. Um, and I'm still feeling ballsy, you know? I dropped my banner so we could run quicker. I really want to take this tower down. So I run in with my shield wall. I probably didn't need to use it just there. Murky does that grab on me, but it's all right. Rhaegar gives me the full heal, and we take the fort down. Now we have a nice direct line. They still don't have their 20s, so that's why we're playing so ballsy. Murky dies again, but he just keeps coming back. Oh, but do we kill his egg? Is that his real egg? No, of course not. Kerrigan tries us again, and I taunt her. Do we blast her in time? He, oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff used there, but it's, it's all good. She did again for a minute. I decide I don't like the way that gate looked at me, so we break it, and we're like, let's break this tower too. And you know what? Let's break this four. It's another little battle around this thing. Morfei is trying to be annoying. We got Anduin with the stun, but you know, it doesn't matter. ETC is going to jump on all of us, knock us back. We're just going to keep coming in. I break the fort eventually. All right. Oh, no, don't let Rhaegar die. What am I doing? Did I let Rhaegar die? No, Rhaegar's still alive. Cool. Sometimes I get so focused, I want to take something out. I dropped my banner, so we got the movement speed. And they all run away anyway. I got the taunt on Orfea. And man, where did her health go? I don't I don't even know. And that should be that, folks. We got a couple C's behind us. Kerrigan's about to come back to life. ETC is just being annoying, but it's not a big deal because we just kill you again. Murky will kill you too. Tracer's tracing Anduin. Oh, and she gets Anduin. Look at look at that. I get pushed back by the fort, whatever. And the base is going down. They just got Murky being annoying. Kerrigan is uh, he's probably just chilling at this point. She doesn't want to mess with us. 
gets... Oh, no, there she is. All right, she does a grab and gets no one. And now we're going for the win. That's how I use variant to tank and spank. A ton of fun. The shield wall is amazing. The taunt is amazing. And that is that, folks. Victory.